So we do have a children's program. Um, and so first we talk to the parents about um, how important it is to be honest with the children, that once you've figured out what's going on, to um, uh, talk with them at their level of understanding. And we give them books and uh, guidelines of what questions they're probably going to answer and how to best respond to them. And a lot of times parents think, oh, you know, it's going to be overwhelming and um, it's, uh, it's going to be too much for them and they want to kind of keep it quiet. But I tell them the story of my son. Uh, when his grandfather got cancer, my dad, we were very open with him. He was involved in everything. And I didn't realize how it impacted him until years later. He wrote a letter to get into medical school. And he said, when my dad got can my grandpa got cancer, I decided to go to medical school and be a doctor. And he is at U of M. He's a neurologist, not an oncologist. But so actually, there are gifts of survival. Uh, kids can feel confident. They feel like you're t even grandchildren. They're very important. They're they're affected, and and to help them learn about the disease and and in ways that they can understand and uh, help them feel a part of it and that maybe there are things that they can do for you. Um, I think it's really important. And then we do work with children in our program with art therapy because children's an art is a natural way that children express themselves. So uh, we and we use music therapy and other types of therapy so that children can talk if they want. But if, if not, they can just draw and express themselves that way. So we had a little kid and and uh, the dad had cancer, and she drew this school building. And I asked her, well, what was happening in the picture? And she said, well, um, you know, dad can't pick us up from school, and mom has to take dad to the hospital, so now a neighbor picks us up. And she had this whole story how her life had changed with cancer, but she was able to express it. And that's an, the important thing. We actually teach them about what uh, the cells in the body and and how a cell becomes a cancer cell and that um, the kind of things their their mom or dad are going to go through depending on who has the cancer and what happens in the process so they're not so scared so um, they can expect that certain things are going to happen um, and then the emotional side that um, there are going to be a lot of feelings expressed in the family and, and sometimes sadness and sometimes more frustration and irritabil irritability, um, sometimes fear of what's going to happen or just the uncertainty of not knowing in the beginning, like what's going to be the treatment plan, what's the outcome, um, are we going to get that cure that we hope for. So, um, you know, again, there are all kinds of information out there depending on the age of the child, how to talk to them in a way that they can understand. So information and then expressing their emotions of how they're feeling about it.